Did you forget our passcode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, time for that. Uh, welcome. All right, lead me around. Show me the best products for postnatal. Postpartum. Postpartum. I don't know. Postnatal, postpartum. I think it's all the same thing. Um, these are top ten products that you need the first week after birth. But let's go see the baby first. Cause he's so cute. we're in here uh -huh. look at this earth mama organic nipple butter most people probably know that when you start breastfeeding crazy things happen to your nipples and a lot of people use something called lanolin but I found this stuff because one of my friends was looking for a more natural option for her and her baby and mm, it smells good like cocoa butter yeah. you can even use it as chapstick where's those uh What were these? Uh, compression socks. So they like totally pump you up with fluids when you're giving birth because you're like hooked up to an IV to make sure, I guess, that you have all the nutrients and stuff you need. I don't really know what IVs are for, but you get super swollen. You should have seen my like ankles and my thighs, at the, or not my thighs, my calves. They were so swollen. So compression socks really help with that. You should get some. They felt useful? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think they just keep, like, your blood circulating because everything's just, like, compressed. Where's the Spanx? Didn't you say those were good? Oh, yeah. I don't know if many people know this, but after you give birth, you still have a belly that sticks around for quite a bit. And so a friend of mine also recommended these. Who's your friend? Different friend. This says, well, my friend Rebecca recommended that nipple butter stuff. But this was actually, what's her name? Erin Olsen's sister. Oh, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia recommended this as like just to keep your belly down and help it. Yeah, to help it go down That's after nice. you give birth. You wear it under your clothes. Oh, the good thing about this one too is it's like a scoop or it's like a super deep neck. So you can still wear the regular bra that you wear and I guess continue breastfeeding if you wanted while you're wearing them. But I only wear it when I go out sometimes. Should we go in the other room? Yeah. My little well, sleep well. Mm -hmm. Sleeping well. All right. Ooh. What to expect the first year? We actually had, all right, we actually have the app version of this. I used this, the What to Expect app when we were pregnant, but someone gifted us this book. And it's been super helpful. We didn't really read it before we gave birth, which maybe we should have done, but we've checked it out since then. And it just goes like month by month and what's gonna happen to the baby any particular month, which is kind of cool. But we also got, well, Justin bought this for Christmas. Has more pictures. It has more pictures and it's like funnier because it talks about the baby or like it talks about the parents as the owners. And so it talks about the baby owner manual and the model that you might've gotten Except I don't think they ever talk about a half white, half Asian baby in here. Best model yet. Best model yet. Where's that uh, donut pillow you had in here? Uh, donut pillow. I think I, oh, I gave it away when someone came over. Uh -huh. It's basically a circular pillow with a hole in it because you're like healing and sore and stuff down there. So you don't want to just like sit flat on your butt. That was useful? Yeah. It was useful because it keeps like pressure off your butt and just that general down there area while you're still like stitched up and stuff like that. Makes sense. Because we did, we had natural or vaginal birth. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mm. actually know that much about like C-section recoveries. So I don't know if like it applies to C-section deliveries. And then what about the stuff in the bathroom? Stuff in the bathroom. Nothing in the kitchen. Wait for our breastfeeding video. <laughs> um, bathroom, let's see. Should I turn the light on? Yeah. Or what about, wasn't there something in the closet? We had um, 
Oh, I had giant pads in here. Well, two things. I had disposable underwear, like adult diapers, basically, because the first, like, two days after birth, two, three days, you're, like, bleeding like crazy down there enough that it's, like, you might as well throw underwear away. So there was just adult diapers in there and then also giant pads. They were literally, like, this big. <laughs> you just, like, it went from, like, my belly button to, like, up here <laughs> under my undies. Um, what do I have in here? Oh, uh huh. About one of these guys. Uh, six bath. Uh huh. Cause I don't know. I mean, I was pretty sore and raw and stuff down there when I first gave birth, and so, like, when I was wiping, I was just like patting things dry. But I think I don't know exactly what the six bath does, but they had it at the hospital, and they also had it at the place that we were staying, and so we bought one for when we got home just for it down there also because i got hemorrhoids even before birth and sits baths are supposed to help with like hemorrhoids and stuff too and i think this is the last thing herbal perennial spray you can just give yourself a little squirt down there every time you go to pee oh also didn't you make uh padicicles with it yeah so i made the mistake of only buying like one for the first or the initial time after birth but i would have bought like four or five of these because yeah i mean justin helped me make them but you just like spray it all over like those giant pads and stick it in the freezer um and then change it every time you have to go to the bathroom and it feels so good <laughs> so yeah and it smells good too soothing it smells like cucumbers <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> and also witch hazel but i don't even know what witch hazel is but that's, I think that's it. Those are the 10 things. I mean, babies come with all sorts of other stuff, but we'll just break it up. We'll break it up for ease. It's so cute. Do you love it? <laughs> Do you love it more than me? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't wake up, Will. Bye. Bye, baby. Are you, like, leave me through the door? Okay. <laughs> thanks, Bye. for Thanks for the door. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs>